Hi everybody, welcome back to a plant tour. It's going to be bedroom edition. So these are actually going to be all of the plants that I keep in my bedroom. I think I currently have like 19 plants in my bedroom, which isn't really a lot. Uh, um, I'll, like a few of them are propagating in water, but once they really grow their roots, I'm going to be planting them in planters and just uh, probably putting them on the windowsill or near a window so they can get a lot of bright and direct lighting. And if you're new here, my name is Laura and I post about lifestyle, ethical skincare and wellness. I also did a plant tour a few months ago and if you haven't seen it then you can definitely uh, view that if you'd like. And I would really like to uh, hear what your favorite plant is that I have or if you have a plant type that you like then I'd love to hear that as well. First we have have a philodendron micans and it's actually has grown a lot I've been having it for more than a year and uh, it has the softest silkiest velvety leaves and I love this plant like I said this one has been growing for more than a year there and yeah it's just I might just prune it and propagate it uh, yeah because it's just really long and then I have a Rifidera tetrasperma. Um, it's also called Amonstera guinea, but this is actually a uh, cutting that I'm propagating in water, so it's actually in a um, container, just growing its roots, and once it grows the roots, I'm going to be planting it in soil. String of Hearts, Silver Glory, and this one's just grown so much as well. It's just trailing and branching. Um, it does have a few vines, but I really do hope that it gets even more new growth. And yeah, so this is just how these leaves look like. And it's just grown a lot. String of hearts, but this one's an orange river, so it really has no variations. It's really different. I really think all the variety of string of hearts is just really unique. Uh, there's just so many of them, and there's definitely something for everyone. And yeah, so this one's just been growing as well. And these are actually really quick growers, so if you're looking for a plant that grows really quickly, then String of Hearts is probably going to be one that you're going to like. We have a trailing plant that's another Rifidera tetrasperma, and this one I've been having for like years there just growing and it's gotten so long i just wanted to trail it upwards on the wall it's just yeah so it just keeps on growing and trailing and yeah i know it does have like a few uh crisp brown edges but that's okay uh yeah, there's also, it's also having new growth right here, which got me really excited, like right there. And then also new growth there as well. And then we have the Cebu Blue that really grew and trailed. So its leaves are like this really like blue-green color. If you zoom closer, like you can definitely see the difference between the green and like the color it's just really interesting the way that it looks and yeah it just keeps on growing and trailing and yeah so there's that a Uh, Pothos Enjoy mixed with Glacier. It's mostly variegated Enjoy. Uh, the only Glacier leaves that I could find on it are these that have uh, a lot of white and less green, uh, which looks a little bit different. But then everything else just looks like uh, regular Pothos Enjoy and also variegated Enjoy because it does have these of variegations on it as well and we have yeah. it just keeps on trailing and yeah
have quite a lot of plants. So as you can see, uh, I have a trailing vines of marble pothos on the walls there. If you put them right uh, in front of the windows, you'll see they'll have more of a creamy color. But those are just those vines, and I'm really hoping they get longer and just keep on growing. And it's also growing all of these branches um, with all these leaves over here as well. Um, and it's just growing a lot of vines, trails on the walls, and I have it trailing on there and all the new growth and all of that. And this is the newest growth for that vine. This one hasn't really unfurled yet. It's still yeah, and then this one as well. And then we have this that branched. It's still growing, so yeah. And then we have an Amac cactus a Monstera adansonii, so it has like these distressing on the leaves, makes it look so unique. And this one definitely has a lot of new growth points on it with leaves that's growing. It looks like it needs like more leaves to grow on it. This leaf here that looks really distressed and just like all of the other ones, just looking distressed. And yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be doing like a plant update once it grows a lot more leaves on it uh, but this is just currently how it looks like and it is having new growth there a string of hearts a uh, silver glory as well uh, so as you can see all the leaves are like that and it's loving like it loves it. I just hanged it on the rod and it really loves where it's at and it just if you have a string of hearts, just put it like in front of a window or on the rod or somewhere that it gets a lot of bright indirect lighting because it's going to have a lot of quick growth. And then I have this other uh, string of hearts. It's um, this one's an orange river string of hearts, and it's just here. And a lot of the leaves are like this color, which makes it look really interesting. They're like a different type of color and they have like this um, hue to it that like that. Yeah, and I know it looks uh, like it doesn't have a lot of leaves, but I'm really hoping that it grows more leaves as well. And this plant has decided to start vining on the shades, as you can see, like it just grabbed on uh, and it's just trailing upwards. It just vines. <laughs> and yeah. Um, for this plant, definitely, it's like, it's a style that I'm going for. Um, more trailing and bare looking, but it also has like, uh, like vines trailing upwards there. Most of the leaves are like facing the window. Look at the color of these. It's just, yeah, really unique. And then this is actually a uh, curdatum. These are uh, vines. They're uh, actually propagating in water. I just put it in this planter and I'm letting them grow roots. Refitera tetrasperma that's growing here. It's had its new growth right there and it's going to continue trailing upwards. And yeah, so I'd really like for this to be trailing all the way upwards and, you know, just like long vines. So, yeah, it just loves being near the windows. Then we have this string of pearls that is growing and has long vines, as you can see. It has, it just grew a lot. I did, like, underwater it. Uh, so that's why it has all these dry branches, but it once I started watering it more often, it started to thrive in like being underwatered. They don't really mind that. Uh, but since mine is really near the window, it dries quicker, so it uh, needs more watering more often. So I started to do that, and it definitely has been having new growth and all that. So 
On the windowsill, we have a uh, Monsterad and Sonii that's having new growth. Yeah, these leaves I really like the distressing on them, so really excited to see the new leaf. And then this is a marbled pothos snow queen, and it has leaves that are a little creamy, and then others are more green as well. But as you can see, like the new newest growth are creamier on this plant. This. Uh, it's like a vine. It's another uh, Snow Queen Marble Pothos. And the leaves, they have more white variegations on it, so they look more unique. And yeah, I've just. This is how that looks like. And then we have this plant, which is propagating. Look at all the roots that it grew in the water. It's just a uh, pothos of uh, silvery Anne, and a lot of the leaves do have uh, a lot of silver on them. And I'm, I'm going to be planting this one in soil really soon. So that was all the plants that I had in my bedroom, and I know it's not really a lot, but I'm really hoping that these plants grow more leaves and like within the next few months and then I can do a plant update which I really hope that like the vines really grow I mean I know that just uh, depends on how often I fertilize it but then again you don't want to over fertilize your plants because fertilizing once a month or every three months is like perfect for the plant so that their roots don't get worn because then you know if you want it to keep thriving then it's just about balance you know balance uh, when it comes to watering and fertilizing and pruning and propagating and everything like that and uh, yeah I mean something that I learned when it comes to plants if your plant isn't vining that much and you would like it to grow vines then you can prune it and then you can put the vine in water and then uh, it can grow roots it can help the plant grow vines quicker uh, but you don't have to prune it a lot. You just prune it a few inches and then yeah So it, it just depends if your plant is bushier and then you'd like the Plant to have a more of a trailing vining look to it that can really help it and Yeah, just like pruning it once in a while every few months if it grows way too long You can propagate it and then gift it or you can make a new plant from it. I would say that the rarest plant that I have in my bedroom is a Cebu Blue Pothos then all the other ones are like uh, regular plants that uh, are that really that rare. Um, the Monstera Adansonia does have a really unique look as well and it does uh, have like distressing. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.